now that we have the jetpack and we have the uh, shortcut or whatever you want to call it unlocked, let's actually go unlock that like map updater thing so it's not all just clouds whenever we open up the map for the Starlight Strand. Because I was kind of waiting until we got the jetpack to do that because it seemed a little bit too dangerous for us to just jump over there, right? And here we are in the Starlight Strand and we can just turn around and then boom, we're in the back of the Starlight Strand. Cool. So where was... Yes, yeah, all the way over there. Yeah. And now that we have the jetpack, I'm a lot more comfortable jumping from, say, here. I'm like, I was able to jump from here all the way over here last time. And we got a stamina upgrade as well. But uh, I feel like we could actually jump from, like, say... Can we make... Maybe, I don't know if we can make it from here. I'll try. Oh, my gosh, we did it. Holy heck. And that, we still have stamina to spare. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> all right. So map updated for the Starlight Strand. Cool. Oh, wait, is there more? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Wait, where is all this? Wait, where am I at? Right, I'm right here. There's like all this down here that still has clouds on it. Um. So if I go down this. Oh, I bet. Hold on, you guys. Now that we have the jetpack, hold on. We're, oh man, there's a. I didn't even notice this. We got whatever the radiant ore right here, too. Cool. Yeah, I need that. I don't know what I need. Oh, geez, I almost fell into the slime sea. Yeah, I think we only got two right there. Man, wish we got more. I kind of want to go to that one area, you know, where we saw the hunter slimes. Kind of go back there real quick and see if that's like a whole new area or something like that. Oh, wait, hold on. Go across that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is going to be impossible unless you have a jetpack. It looks like Silky Sand is over here, you guys. Cool. Let's grab that because we do need that. We got only, man, we only got two right there, but uh, maybe there's more around here. Let's keep watching out. More silky sand. Uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing any more, but it seems like, oh man, more radiant ore right there, though. It's like a crazy, like, angular slime island over here. It's awesome. We got five radiant ore now. Awesome. Any more of that silky sand around here, though? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else around. Golly, there are a lot of slimes around here. Jeez. Oh, here we go. We got more uh, silky slime right here, or uh, silky sand right here. Cool. Oh, there's already a tar here, golly. Yeah, I need to find puddle slime so I can actually take care of these guys a lot better and more effectively than just picking them up and throwing them out. Oh, whoa, what is that? Another treasure thing right here. Cool, what is this? What's inside this treasure pot? Probably sand or something like that. Rock clusters, what? Where is that at? Where can I see rock clusters? I don't know, like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know where these rock clusters are that uh, kind of demonstrate that thing. But hey, at least we got it, right? Yeah, I don't see any other uh, silky sand or anything else around here, so I guess we can just float back. And then maybe next time we come back here, more silky sand is going to be available. So, whoop, there you go. But yeah, uh, let's go back through here. Yeah. And then we go through the front, and let's go back to where we found that initial hunter line. Oh, yeah, we can go over here. Oh, my gosh, another lucky slime. Hold on, hold on. Where's the where's chicken at? Golly, I just want to get a little bit of money out of it. Oh, there you go. There's a chicken. There's a chicken. Feed him, feed him, feed him. Where'd he go? Oh, he was like right there and oh man, he despawned. Ah, uh, we didn't get any money from him. I don't know, maybe we did and I didn't notice it. I don't know. But uh, there's this over here that I always said, oh yeah, we need jetpack for it. But where does this actually go? Let's actually see. Is this just a shortcut to... Wait, where is this? There's a honey thing right there I can get stuff from. I don't know. Yeah, where in the world are we? <laughs> I don't know where we are, you guys. It's crazy. The strand, uh, starlight strand or whatever it's called, is a lot bigger than I remember. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these like honey uh, beehive things, so I might as well get that. There you go, get some buzz wax out of them. Awesome. Just in case we need that for anything, right? Because there's just like 15 of them. Over. Look at that. There's another one right here. Oh wait, oh, we found a treasure pod up here. Up here where all this stuff is. In case you guys are wondering where. Oh, whoa! Violet Warp Depot. Ooh, that's going to be really good, but I believe whenever you place those down, they're like a one time use, right? Oh yeah, now I have a jetpack, it'd be- Oh wait, oh, this is the map up. Wait, oh. Yeah, there's like multiple like map things you need to update here for the Starlight Shred. Holy heck, there's another one right here. Wait, hold on, where is this? Yeah, this is above where the rock slime tunnel thing is, huh? So this doesn't unlock the whole entire area, just a small bit. Oh yeah, look at that! And you can actually see the, the violet side and the, the pinkish side. <laughs> I forgot what they described the colors as, but there you go. Oh, yeah, you can see our progress right here. Four out of 24 treasure pods. Oh, we had way more than that, but maybe that's only for the Starlight Strand. There's 24 of them here or something. I don't know, but holy heck. This is crazy. I guess there's going to be another area over here I need to unlock the clouds of. But yeah, I feel like we're not able to come up here unless we have the jetpack, so I'm glad that we have the jetpack now. And yeah, I'm, I'm just floating around right now. Just wait until we get more uh, stamina back. We'll probably float more of that direction or something. 
I don't know, I kind of want to keep going. Oh man, there's another uh, beehive thing right there. Oh, mint mangoes. We need that. Oh yeah, wasn't there a uh, gordo around here? Like a like a honey slime gordo? So if I get a bunch of mint mangoes. Oh jeez. If I get a bunch of mint mangoes, or maybe just cuberries and mint mangoes in general. Oh, there's cuberries right there, but ah, I need to find more mint mango trees. But if I come, if I get enough. Oh man, more silky sand over there. Cool. If I get enough, I can explode that uh, gordo, which will be really good, you guys. Let's go get that silky sand right now, though. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to split this up into two episodes, you guys. <laughs> this is way too long of a recording. And I don't know where a logical stopping point is, to be quite honest. <laughs> and by the way, if this video is like a day late or whatever, this is a reason why. Because <laughs> I'm addicted to this game. I can't stop playing it. But where is I go? Oh, yeah, wasn't it like up there or something? Or if there's any more mint mangoes. If there are any mint mangoes over here, they're probably getting eaten. Because, golly, look at all the ports just laying around, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go up there and... And then uh, feed them these mint mangoes. We have we only three of them right now. Yeah, there he is right there. We have only three of them right now, but... Oh, am I able to make this? No, man! Ah, I need to get more stamina. I don't know how to get up there more effectively, but... Uh, give me these mint mangoes, and then uh, we can get some of the cuberries to finish them up. All right, I don't know if this is going to be able to take me... Oh, here we go. Awesome! Let's give him the mint mangoes. Blip! Awesome! Any more mint mangoes around here, or am I going to have to rely on cuberries? What is this? Oh, no, the pet. Jeez, there's a lot of pathways around here. Golly. Wait, hold on. Cue berries and poga fruit and stuff. Let's grab. Okay, grab the poga fruit. I can use that for the. Uh... Oh, another. Oh, my gosh. Another lucky slime somewhere. Right there. Oh, my God. Is it me or the lucky slime is like super duper common now, you guys? This is insane. I don't have any meat to give you, though. Man. Well, at least I have some more poga fruit for the uh, Gordo up there, right? Oh, another uh, poga fruit right there. Awesome. So we have. We gave him three mint mangoes. We're going to give him seven poga fruit right here. Yep, there he is right there. Probably going to be a lot of cuberries down below as well. What? The pfft? I thought his mouth was big enough. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We ate all those. There's going to be some cuberries down here too. Yeah, right here. Grab some of the cuberries. Lip. There we go. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another drone right there. Hold on. What does this guy say? I didn't notice him until now. Yeah, he's a lot more uh, visible at night. There you go. Accessing GG.log. Ever since I came back, things have been a little fuzzy, like some of my memories stayed behind. So I come here now to clear my head. I just let the sound of the falling water drown everything out, and then in that white noise, I could sometimes think clearly again. But then all I see is it happening again. So I take a few breaths, steady myself, and get back to work. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way, hold on, is there a way to read all these research drones at once or something? I don't know if there is. Science? No. Just so we can kind of formulate a story between all these research drones. Backing, like, is it in here? This is the, yeah, this is the tutorial bit, yeah. It's not going to show me anything here, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. It might just be like the first game where you kind of have to formulate the story from all the hops and uh, hologram things, right? But we have a lot of cuberries right here. Is this going to be enough to explode them? It's not! Man, this is a really hungry Gordo right here! I'm like, they call him a Gordo for a reason, right? <laughs> I guess Gordo means like fat in Spanish or something, huh? <laughs> Uh, let's go give him these uh, poker fruit. Hopefully it's going to be enough. Wait, is that a mint mango? Oh, it is a mint mango. Oh, nice. There's a mint mango tree like basically next to that Gordo. Cool. Well, I'm getting heckin' killed over here, so I need to be careful. <laughs> Make sure I don't get killed. You know, use the uh, cuberry tree as a stepping stone. Awesome. Then we can actually grab a uh, mint mango from that up there. Yeah, there's one ready to go. I'm going to feed him the poker fruit first because I don't have an inventory space to grab more mint mangoes. Jeez, of course he wants more mint. <laughs> All right, let's grab the... Uh, oh, did it fall off? Oh, I thought it did. Hold on. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the mint mango. Is that going to be enough? We got it. Is he going to explode him? Uh, still once more. Are you kidding me, man? Jeez. Wait, hold on. There's a mint mango tree up there. Mint mangoes would have fallen down. I don't know how to get up all the way to there. I might have to jetpack all the way up there or something. Man, I'm going to have to do some crazy parkour, you guys. <laughs> Here you go. See if we can go onto this treetop. Yeah. Then I'm up here. I can make it all the way over to here. Yeah, here we go. Cool. We got some poga fruit up here. Can grab these. Q berries up here as well. Wait, what is this area? Oh man, another research drone. Golly. Man, we're all the way over here. We're on the other side of that uh, Hunter Largo wall, I think, right? Well, let's see what this research drone says. Accessing gg.log. I grew attached to this tree when I first discovered it. I used to sit here and tell it all about myself. But these days, it's different. I see myself in it now, two different paths struggling against the other, bound to this island and changed by it. But unlike this tree, I hope to leave the island someday. I want to find a way home. I really do. That kind of reminds me of one of the stories Hobson wrote. I think he wrote about like comparing himself to a tree back home on Earth or something like that one time, right? 
Yeah, I think so. Like, it was next to the Tabby Gordo or something like that, yeah. So this tree is right here, but he's, like, right next to the separation between the two. Like, like, like different area. Oh, look at the honey slimes. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're, like, right on the line between the, the pink side and the violet side over there. I forgot what, it, what, what do they actually call this? Yeah, coral and lavender, that's what they call it. Coral and lavender. Those are, like, the specific colors that they call it. Well, there's cubeberry trees over here, too. Yeah, there's, oh, wait, no, it's a poker fruit tree. Okay, I'll grab more of these. Okay. Yeah, this should be enough to explode the uh, Gordo now, right? <laughs> should be enough. It's like going to guarantee it, though. Yeah, I'll see. Oh, wow. Look at this. Man. And yeah, look at this. Here's the coral side. There's the lavender side. And that tree is a, a lavender on the coral side. That's kind of funny. Oh, wait, no. No. Yeah, see, it like splits like right here. He's like right in the middle. <laughs> That's key. Oh, and it, yeah, like I said previously, it even splits down the middle in the sky, too. It's crazy. Oh, look at the little pink honey Largo. Not Gordo. Don't want to call it a Gordo. It's a Largo. <laughs> Grab some more of these. Yeah, this should be enough. Yeah, I'll leave, leave some for the uh, little youngins to eat some food, too. Don't want to forget about that. Giant log for us to go across over there. Then I'm sure uh, eventually we're going to come across the other side of that hunter, like, statue, like, doorway that we had earlier in the game, right? Man, how many does this guy need? We had 17 in our inventory, that still wasn't enough. What? Jeez. We gave him three mint mangoes, probably like 25 or so pogo fruit. We even have some cuberries over here we even fed. I don't know how many cuberries we gave him. Probably nah, not that much. Probably only like five or six or something, huh? But still, man, we gave him so many of them. Feels like we gave him way more than enough to explode them, but I guess not. Okay, these are going to be my last three cuberries. And I guess, I don't know, maybe we'll go home and drop some stuff off or something. Man, he still hasn't exploded. Are you kidding me? Any more mint mangoes here? No. Golly. Any more mint mangoes just out in the open, though? Oh, wait, right there on that tree. Yeah, we got a few of them. Yeah, we got two of them. Awesome. Any on the ground? No. Man. All right, well, these should be enough to explode them. Should be enough? With all the poker fruit we gave them, all the cuberries, the, the, this is going to be five mint mangoes, which should count for ten because double their favorite fruit, right? Oh, wait, hold on. There's mint mangoes on the ground over here, too. Yeah, they fell out of that tree. There we go. We have six of them now. Amazing. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, what are you even blocking? Whoop. Oh, there we go. Now he's going to explode. Holy heck. And there he goes. Awesome. Now, what, what were you blocking over here? Seems like he's got uh, one of these things right here, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to drop anything, but... Uh, I'd hate, uh, pick up the, yeah, pick up this thing. Where is this going to take us? Boop. Just gives me a rock slime, a cuberry, and another honey slime. Yeah, where is this? What is this? Wait, hold. Oh, jeez, yeah. Definitely want to be careful. Don't want to fall down that. I don't know where in the world I am. Oh. I'm on the... Wait, hold, wait, what is that? What slime is that? Is that one of the new ones? Hold on, what's this thing? Pink, uh, tall pink coral columns. Yeah, I think if we activate that, it's probably going to activate that door. Or maybe something above me or something. I don't know. But uh, I feel like I'm kind of stuck here now, you guys, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoop. Oh, there's another one here. Man, that's the same one. Yeah, I'm stuck here until... <sighs> Can I go down there? Is that going to take me somewhere? I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Ah, at the same time, I kind of want to. Ah! Where is this going to take us? Oh, another treasure thing. Oh, oh my gosh, ferals. Angular pink Largo ferals. Oh my gosh. Get the heck out of here. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> Get this treasure. It's probably going to be like these corals or something, huh? Let's see, what is this? Oh, wait, no, another tank liner thing. Ooh, okay, so it's an upgrade, but uh, how do I get out of here now? <laughs> like, I'm kind of stuck here. Unless, is it, is it safe for me to go out here? Is it? Oh, geez, it is. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, geez, more of these guys. Yep. Uh, let's put them over here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now, can I make it out of here? Oh, my gosh, am I staying? I'm going to go to where? Oh, jeez. I made it out. How did I make it out of here? That was crazy. Is there anything over there while I'm, like, in the air? <laughs> I don't see anything. Oh, man, I've got, like, silky sand and, and, and buzz wags and other stuff in my inventory. Valuable cargo. Can I make it up there? Oh, my gosh, I did. Holy heck, how did I do that? Yeah, that was like a crazy secret area I was just in, you guys. Oh my gosh. And now I'm over here. Where is this? Where is this? What? Where? Is, yeah, what? I don't even know where this is. <laughs> like, uh, apparently I'm kind of close to the beginning, but uh, it doesn't look familiar at all. Huh. All right, well, let me get... Oh, wait, hold on. No. 
I thought maybe up there. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, right up there. Yeah, it's going to be the honey gordo up there. Oh, wait, hold on. Where is this? I think. And yeah, this is this is the one of the doors that opens. We need to get some sort of slime that has a, or some sort of a port that has like butterfly wings or something on it and like antenna. I might just keep going this way and we're probably going to wrap around to the front of the starlight strand or whatever it's called eventually anyways. While I'm out and about too, might as well see if there's any more silky sand just- Oh yeah, right, like right there, cool. Let's just grab more of that because we're going to need a pretty good amount of it. Yeah, there you go, we're up to nine right now, not bad. Any more that I might have- I thought there might have been one I didn't pick up right there. <laughs> but if there's going to be more silky sand, I'll grab it. But I think nine, that might be enough to get whatever the next thing is that we're saving up for, right? At least we have enough mint mangoes, we could actually plant another mint mango tree over by all the honey slimes that we have. And I don't know what I'm going to make that- oh, here we go, we're at the beginning now. I don't know what I'm going to make them a, a Largo out of. Actually, you know what? Leave a comment down below. What type of Largo should I turn our honey slimes into? Like, what port should I feed them to combine them together with? Kind of like how we have a, a pink cotton Largo and then a, a rock hunter Largo. Like, what port should I feed them to get a Largo? Let me know in those comments down below. But for right now, let's put up some radiant ore right here. There you go, some silky sand, some bee wax, buzz wax. Because I just saw some more jelly stone right here I can get. So let's grab that. Hopefully it doesn't despawn on the other side. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they fixed that weird glitch that happened that one time, huh? Let's go deposit these. There you go. And then I'll head back to the conservatory. We can go grow another mint mango tree in that back area over there by our honey slimes. That way their favorite food is going to be growing right next to them, right? All right, I'm back home. Let's feed all of our slimes. Well, these guys are still happy, though. Probably because, yeah, we had the feeder right here and it's out of the carrots. So I guess it dispensed all the carrots. They're awesome. Yeah, see, that's that's why we want to get an auto feeder for these guys. So we don't have to worry about manually feeding them all the time, you know, but I'll give them their favorite food. There you go. Just to make them that much happier. Oh, especially you there. You're very hungry there. And we even have some heartbeats right here, which are actually the favorite food of the rock slimes. Rock uh, Hunter Largo's on the other side over there. So let's go. Oh, yeah, I can pick up some of the carrots and odd onions here. Are there even any odd onions? It's nothing but carrots, unfortunately. Man. I think this is nothing but curious. Ah, all right, well, I don't know. They already have a lot of food in here. Man, there's a lot of ports in there too I need to get rid of. Sell and get some money out of them or put them inside the refinery or something like that. A lot of chickens inside of here too, holy heck. <laughs> Man. All right, let's feed some of these guys, give them their favorite food and hopefully get double ports out of them. If any of them even can, because there's so many, I'm like, if they're hungry, there's so many chickens for them to eat, right? <laughs> yeah, they're not eating them at all. Oh yeah, let's grab some of the mint mangoes that are over here. There you go, grab these. Now this tree is done growing. I guess I can get rid of this so it stops growing. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll keep the mint mango tree there. But, you know, whenever I'm ready to replace it, that's when I'll replace it. That way you can get more mint mangoes. But let's just go down here. All these guys, yeah, we had an auto feeder for them too, and they seem uh, decently happy, decently fed. And there's a Q-berry right there if anyone's still hungry. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to put a... Yeah, and there's still another cuber right there for him, too. I'll put their favorite food, the mint mango, up inside of here and set it to slowest mode. There you go. Just so it doesn't uh, empty it too fast and all the mint mangoes go to waste, you know? Now, I'll keep one mint mango in my inventory to put... Where's it going to be? Okay, so these are all the plots. I guess I can put that up here. Yeah, this would, this would be good. And there's even some poker fruit right there, too. I guess I'll put it over here. Yeah, this would be really good. It's like right next to it. There you go. Put a garden right there. I have just enough money. And we put the mint mango tree. Awesome. I have enough money. Yeah, I have enough money to get like nutrient spo soil or sprinklers or anything like that just yet. But let's see if we have any more uh, poker fruit just sitting around here. I can go give them. Nah, I don't see any more, man. All right, well, let's just go give them their poker fruit and that this random cuberry right here. And of course, in my inventory, I have 21 carrots. Golly, of course, that number again. <laughs> let's go put that up in the uh, auto feeder for our pink cotton largos over here. Oh, geez, there's a rooster. There are multiple roosters in here. That's probably why there's so many chickens, because they're like breeding inside of here, too. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Let's actually go downstairs here in just a minute to see how close we are to getting some other upgrades. Right after I grab these plorts and sell them real quick and get a little bit of money. Oh, my gosh. 19 for each cotton plort. That's some really good money right there. 10 for each pink plort. Man, the price just keeps going up. Let's keep selling them, getting some good money before it resets here in a couple hours. Right plorts even better at uh, 30, man. And 100 plorts. Looks like that went down. It was like 40-something. Now it's 39, but at least it went up from uh, yesterday. So it has green arrows there. Oh, yeah. Didn't I need rock plorts for something downstairs? Yeah, let me see if I have any spare ones. Hold on. We can go deposit that inside of the refinery, and we could use that for crafting something. Yeah, we have a few of them left over right here. Good. There you go. So we have four of them right there. Awesome. Yeah, let's go deposit these in the refinery. Let's see if we are uh, closer to getting anything now. So... Let's go to the fabricator. Let's see. What was it? The Oh, yeah. The heart module was one of the things I was wanting to get too. Yeah, because we got the stamina upgrade for the, the, the power core right there. So we have 150 stamina right now. We have only 100 health. So let's actually get that heart module. There you go. How much do we? We have 3,000 new bucks. Oh, my gosh. We have so much money. Oh, my gosh. There you go. So now we have the heart module. So now we have 150 health and 150 uh, stamina. 
Still need the dash boots upgrade. We need a uh, boom plorts for that. Don't have the next jetpack upgrade unlocked just yet. Uh, we need more tabby plorts and angler plorts, and then we'll be able to get 40 uh, units in our tank instead of just 30. <laughs> That's awesome. We're basically doubling it from just one or two episodes ago. You guys, amazing there. And then, uh, oh, oh my gosh, we can do it right now, you guys. We can get the extra tank right now. But yeah, let's get the upgrade. How much does that cost? 1,500 new bucks. Oh my gosh. It's going to be worth it, though, because we want to have more inventory space, right? Yeah, now we have five. Awesome. So now we have more actual inventory. Like we could hold 30 items at once and we can hold like an extra stack of items too. cool. Now we're not going to be held down by that anymore. Awesome. This one right here. Yeah, it looks like I could upgrade it one more time. I just need to find the upgrade Then we could have six slots. Yeah, I don't think they had that in the first game, did they? I had to use uh, mods in the first game to do that. So that's really cool. They actually have it in the game now. You can hold more items. Cool. And then, yeah, I'm like, we explored a lot of the, the Starlight Strand. We didn't see any Puddle Slimes, so it'd be kind of weird for us to find the Puddle Slimes over in the, the Volcano place, right? That's probably what we're going to explore next episode, you guys. Uh, what was it called? The Ember Valley. Yeah, we haven't found them over here. And of course, we could probably find like Boom Slimes over there and get Dash Boots upgrade for that too, right? Yeah, cool. And, and Crystal Slimes too. Yeah, we could probably find them there too, because that's the thing that we're missing there. And Lava Dust too. Yeah, obviously, we want to find it over there. That's going to get us this Tank Guard thing. So if we die, at least we save some of our items, right? <laughs> What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and I know this is the middle of a video, but uh, I recorded such a long recording session last time that it ended up being last episode and then the first part of this episode, so I'm recording this in the middle of an episode just to try and finish the last like 15-20 minutes or so, but yeah, remember to leave a comment down below on what we should turn these guys into a lot. Oh, look at that, we got a few more plorts. Uh, what, what, what should we turn these guys into a plort or a... I guess what plort we should feed them to turn them into a Largo is one way I could word that, but I'm just going to leave them as regular honey slimes, at least for the rest of this episode and this recording, just so I could read you guys' comments in the next episode, we could actually give them a plort and turn them into a Largo. Let me just head back to the Starlight Strand real quick, especially with this new empty inventory with five slots now. Let's actually go back there and let's go explore a little bit more. And hey, maybe we can find another map updater because if you look at the map right now, yeah, we have a lot of it like discovered, uncovered over here, but there's still a big cloud over here with Looks like it's covering up a few areas over there and over there as well. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we find another map update or thing that uncovers all these clouds down here. And I'm sure the uh, volcano area over here. Yeah, it, you could physically see. Yeah, there's a big cloud there. There's a big cloud there, a big cloud there. It looks like there's three map updaters over there as well. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, let me just head on over to the Starlight Strand real quick. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, so here it is right here. Oh man, there's already Taurus. Yeah, we need to keep an eye out for Puddle Slime so we can actually get that water tank upgrade, but I do wanna, oh, a bunch of chickadoos just spawn right there. I do wanna see, especially now that we have the jetpack, are we able to go up here now? Oh, oh, just barely not. Seems like right there, there's one of those like things that we could throw against the wall and it breaks open. I don't know if I could make it all the way up there, but I'll try. Oh, there we go. Let's see what this is going to get us. And we got a little bit of money, some poke fruit, uh, heartbeat and something else. Oh, there we go. Okay, we made it over here now. Also, oh, this is a bunch of, uh, well, that makes sense. You know, I was wondering why the hunter slime seemingly only spawned like, oh my gosh, there's so many tars right there, jeez. But the hunter slime seemingly only spawned like right there. No, it spawns over here, then makes it through this like tunnel and then it like, that's how it gets over here. Cool. I guess we were really lucky that one escaped over here so soon in our playthrough, huh? But let's see, what else is around here? What's that? Oh yeah, hunter plort. And there's already Tars here, jeez! Man, I just got here and there's already Tars, golly! Now, there's a new slime, is there anything else that's new? Hunter plorts, nothing? No, no, no new vegetables, no new fruit. I'm like, the hunter slimes, they eat meat, so... I don't know there's going to be a new chicken here. Oh, jeez, a bunch of Tars just flying up in the air right there. Oh, there's a uh, honey, or a beehive right there. I don't know if there's anything actually over there uh, worthwhile, other than, of course, the bee wax or buzz wax, which we already have a lot of. I don't think I really need to go out of my way to get it. I'm like, we have the inventory space. We could get it if we need to. Like, we're getting buzz wax out of it. We're not getting actual honey, though, unfortunately. Because I know in the first game you were able to get actual honey, but it doesn't seem like you're able to now. Is that, uh... Okay, that's where you fill up water, it looks like. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 my gosh. Yeah, this is like a whole area down there. There's, like, water spouting out, too. Hold on. Looks like there's silky sand down there, too. Yeah, that's water right there. What's that thing? I thought it was like another rock I could throw against the wall now. Yeah, this is crazy at nighttime, especially, you guys. I guess we're just going to keep on exploring around here. Oh, there's a giant slime moon up there just rising above the horizon. <laughs> Anything else around here, though? Oh, is this where the water slime? Wait, hold on. Oh, these are hunters. Yeah, hunter. Yeah, we already had them, though. I don't know if I want to make a hunter. Oh, yeah, we already have a hunter Largo with the uh, rock, so we don't need them. 
I guess the game just now discovered, or, uh, just now said, oh, you discovered a uh, Hunter Slimes for the very first time, even though I've had them before. Yeah, we're getting Angler Slimes and stuff over here, which we we already have the ports and stuff deposited. Oh, yeah, aren't we missing, like, one Angler port or something like that? I guess I can grab some. What in the world? Oh, it's a Phosphor Angler. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Huh. Yeah, well, I guess I'll grab some of their ports. There you go. Actual Angler Slime. I'll get rid of him, though. Is there anything? Oh, hold on. Yeah, we need some of this, too. Yeah. I forgot. What was it called again? Oh, jeez. Some of it's coming off the edge. Oh, we got the Radiant Ore right there. Okay, good. Probably missed one. One probably actually fell. Oh, jeez. There's like a big wall over there. What in the world? Oh, we're yeah, we're in the clouds already. Okay, well, let's keep our eyes peeled for any... Uh, I know I say that a lot. Keep our eyes peeled. I need to come up with another phrase. No! Oh! Well, it's just a Hunter Slime. <laughs> but uh, I need to... Watch out and see if there's any more map update or things around here. Yeah, so there's the silky sand I was just talking about. Yeah, we have a lot of cotton plorts. I don't need... Uh-oh, I just made a tar. Whoops, that's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> All right, let's get the silky sand here, though. There we go. Was that two? Oh, wait, what in the world? A chicken is spawned out? What? I'm confused about that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else around here. No no puddle slimes. You think this, this is like the place for a puddle slime to spawn, but there's none of them here. What's going on with that? But how do we how do we get out of here? This is where we came from, right? Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, this is that other pathway where I. Yeah, so there's that little, little, little thing coming out of the ground. There's a, just a regular pink slimy cuberry and stuff. Carrots over there. Yeah, so we could ride this, and that takes us up to where? Oh wow. Yeah, here it is, right here. Cool. So grab that silky sand. We're up to only four. Man, I thought we'd get way more than that. Man. Let's see if this is going to take us anywhere. Here we go. Oh, the chickens are getting dazed over there. Probably from the water, I bet, huh? There we go. Oh my gosh, it takes me all the way up here. Well, thankfully, I have a jetpack. Okay, so that that's how we get up here. That answers that question, huh? Golly. <laughs> all right, so what else is down here? Because it looked like, yeah, there's a gateway over there. Is there a... Is that a rock slime? Hold on. See, the rock slime and the... And the the crystal slime, they look very similar, but we haven't seen the crystal slime like at all yet, have we? I need to go this way to get the actual rock slimes. Oh, well, there's another research draw. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that because it was nighttime when we came here. Let's see what this says. Oh, it was a short one. Accessing gg.log. The giant mushrooms on this island are responsible for maybe the greatest botanical discovery of my life. Sorry, but it's a secret. Man, can't tell me. Why, why would you make a discovery and then you don't want to tell anyone about it? Like, golly, where are you hiding, huh? Is there a... Oh, yeah, see, there's more... There's a lot of these, like, buzzwax things here, so I don't, I don't really... And there's another one right there, we found more of them earlier this episode, I believe, right? So I, I'm kind of thinking, if I want to get inventory space, maybe I'll get rid of the buzzwax. Yeah, there you go. Especially because we already deposited a lot of it, right? That rock slime statue, does that, like, lead out to here or something? Where is that? No? It's like around... Where does it lead? Where's the other side lead to? I guess we'll see here in just a bit because there's... Oh, wow, is there one right there? No, it's a phosphor. Yeah, it's a phosphor floor. Man, I need to get a rock slime. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's about to eat. Oh, wait, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's get his plort. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Give me your plort there. Oh, it took a little bit of damage. Thankfully, I've got that uh, health upgrade, though. There we go. Is this guy feral or? Oh, he's so cute. Okay, we don't have to worry about him, but let's see. Oh, never. Oh, he's gone now. Whoops. <laughs> is this a rock? It is. So where is this going to lead? Is it? Oh, is it a cave? Phosphor slimes? Rock slimes? Chickens? Hunter slimes? Just carrots and stuff in here? Chickadoos? Nothing new so far, it seems, although it is pretty beautiful with all these mushrooms and stuff. Anything? Oh, here we go. We got uh, more of this stuff. I keep forgetting what was this called again? I literally just mined it like five minutes. Radiant door. I keep forgetting what it's called for some reason. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. More, more rock slimes there. Oh, wow. Rock hunter larga right there. Keep watching out, see if there's anything else that might be new here, though. We have some pretty good uh, resources right now, though. Not bad. Some water right there, so we could actually fill up. But as soon as you come across those puddle slimes, I haven't figured out where they're at. What's around here? Cuberry tree right there. And then, oh, is that a treasure pod? Or a research drone or something? Or is that just the top of a mushroom? Hold on. Let's wait until we get some stamina, and then we'll go there. And then I don't know where that's going to lead out of. I guess we'll see here in just a bit, but what is that? Is that a treasure? It is. And we got more uh, radiant tour, right? Hold on. Yeah, Radiant Ore. <laughs> I actually remembered it for one. Or is this a diamond? In a way, oh, it is. It was a strange diamond. Oh, my gosh. The one time I remember, I... Wait, did we... Oh, we did pick it up. Okay, good. I was wondering where it went. But the one time I remember what the Radiant Ore was called, I... it was the wrong thing. It was a heckin' diamond. It was a strange diamond. But anyways, we need room now. I don't know. Maybe we get rid of the Hunter Port. 
Because we, I'm like, we already have them at home, so we don't need them. You know, there's already a bunch of tars down there. Let's open up this. There you go. See, we're going to get out of this treasure pod. Oh my gosh, the tar is getting close. Tall Violet Swirl Shroom. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I, I don't know if we're ever going to use these decorations because you need a lot of resources to make them, I believe, right? I think I'm going to head out of here. Especially because this room is just filling up with tar. So, where is this going to lead to? Okay, this is safe. I was wondering, like, what is that? Oh, wait, what? Is this a dead end? What is this? Yeah, what in the world? I was kind of excited, like, oh, it's going to lead out to somewhere, but no. It's just, like, a bunch of rocks blocking the next area, and there's, like, a glow stick or something there with the mushrooms there. Yeah, and I can't pick anything up here. It's just a floating mushroom right there. <laughs> they need to fix that before they release the game, right? Just a floating mushroom. But I don't see anything else here, unfortunately. Man, no resources. Can't get any mushrooms. Can't get anything else here. Hmm. I wonder what they have planned for that, though. Yeah. I'm like, I keep saying it, but the game is early access. It's not completely done just yet, so they probably just put that off right there to kind of hide whatever they're working on behind that, you know, and, you know, not to give any spoilers until they're actually done with it. I bet that's what's happening, right? I don't know if there's any more radiant. To oh, wait, well, hold on. Wait, what's this? Oh, wait, no. The, yeah, look at this right here. Wait, hold on. Oh, I just threw out. We had. Where are those plorts at? Oh, there we go. We got. I don't think those were them. But uh, at least we could use them. Hold on, where was it? Yeah, up here. Where's this going to lead out to? I guess that answers that question of, it, like, leading out to another area. But where is this going to go? I thought it was like an area to go in and then out of the same. Hold on. Is this? No. Oh wait, yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, this is new. And by the way, yeah, just a sea hen, a regular hen hen, and a poke fruit, and probably a little bit of money. This is new. This is not connected to that other one that had like the butterfly slime uh, port that I needed to find. I still haven't come across them. Where's this leading out to? Oh, a Gordo. Hunter, wait, we're, huh? We're behind him. <laughs> this is the first time this has ever happened. We're behind the Gordo. How did, th where does this lead out to? And then if we feed him, how, how do I, I can't feed him from here, can I? Cause you have to shoot it out of his mouth. Hold on, they're, they're chicken. We just got chickens. He eats meat. Oh, wait, there's a treasure pot right here. Hold on. Let's see what's inside of the treasure pot. Hopefully something good. Azure shrubs. Ooh, where's that at? Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it right there. Cool. All right, well, yeah, there, there are a couple chit like a sea hen and a regular hen hen over here. We could use for me. I, I guess I could just check and see if it even works. Feeding him from behind, but. Oh, and there's more uh, radiant ore right there. Yeah, see, that's actual radiant ore. There we go. Oh, wow, we got three of them. Uh, but let's go back to this hunter's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you have to be. Or hunter Gordo. Hunter Slime Gordo. Did that work? Oh, yeah, it's just bouncing off this. Yeah, see, you, have, you really do have to feed it from in front of him, but I don't know where this is. Where is this on the map? It's right there, so it looks like. I might have to, like, go there, and there's, like, a bridge. Yeah, I remember a log bridge. You have to walk or like fly around it or something with a jetpack. That's probably how you get down here. Hmm. I don't know. There you go. There's some chickens to keep you company there, Hunter Gordo, but I guess I'll just go this way. Yeah, that's very strange. I don't think that's ever happened where we found a Gordo from behind him. But let's just try and get out of here and then, I don't know, maybe we can go explore. We want to get a ride up there here in just a sec. Ah, there we go. Amazing. And yeah, where are the, oh gosh, I made it all the way up here. Holy heck. Whoa, oh my gosh. Yeah, where, where, where's all this go to? Is this, this goes to another area. Oh, and actually, yeah, look at that. Mark them on the uh, map right there. So now we know where the Gordo is. Cool. But I I, I don't know. Maybe before we end off this episode. kind of. Oh, another treasure pot right there. I don't want to see if we can find that map updater thing. Oh, another. I think I just saw another Gordo in the corner of my eye, you guys. Hold on. What's this treasure pot for? Probably for these uh, blue flowers right here. Azure mangrove. Ooh. Yeah, probably for that tree right there. That mangrove tree. Cool. Yeah, so how do we get down? Here we go. Yeah, I just saw what looked like a Gordo right there. Oh, is that the, uh, hold on. It looks like he's got, like, butterfly wings. Hold on, are they around here? The butterfly wing, uh, slime word? I don't see him. I just see, yeah, rock and hunted cheese. And then it's just, like, a big gateway, like, right here. Yeah, it looks like that reaches the end of the world, so probably have a lot more planned, uh, as they continue developing, uh, the early access and whatnot, right, but... Right now, yeah, just seeing a bunch of rock slimes and a few hunter slimes and whenever they're not camouflage. Oh, wait, more uh, radiant ore right there, just randomly in the corner. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. But, uh, there you go. Cool. Any more around here now? 
Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, let's keep going closer to that butterfly wing looking uh, slime over here. See if we get any Taurus. Oh, jeez, there's already Taurus here, man. Yeah, every time there's more than like three types of slimes, that's guaranteed to be tar terra taratory. <laughs> Hold on, let's get some stamina and then fly from like here up to there. Yeah, you, yeah, that's definitely the slime that we need. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely the slime that we need to. Uh... What the heck is going on over there? Flutter Gordo Diet Nectar? And what's happening back here? Is this... Whoa. Hold on. Can I walk back here? Is this... Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Jeez. Yeah, um... That's very intriguing. Seems like I'm hitting... Yeah, I'm hitting a wall right there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely working on something back there. and they're, they're keeping this little... little crack right there to kind of keep you wondering what's happening back there <laughs> but i kind of want to see where is wait is that nectar moon dew nectar we found it okay well i need to keep at least one in my inventory where from this tree no from this from a thing growing on the tree where's it coming from oh is that them down there oh no those are cotton slimes yeah i don't know where this moon dew no Something just exploded over there. Probably like tars or something. Got like... There's a phosphor cotton down there. I don't know where these flutter... Oh, wait, hold on. There's another... Oh, oh, they're really easy to spot during the nighttime. Holy heck. Is this it right here? This moon do something? It looks like it. So this would fall... Yeah, right there. It must have just produced or something. Yeah, moon do nectar. Yeah, there are no... Oh my gosh, there's like crazy music playing right now. There's no... Oh, hold on. Is there any puddle sign? Yeah, once again, no puddle sign. What? Oh, wait, hold on. Honey, phosphor. Oh, man, I thought it was like half gold. That would have been crazy, but yeah, that only happens in modded uh, Slime Rancher, right? I don't know where these actual flutter. I think those were called flutter. I don't know where the actual flutter slimes are. We found the flutter Gordo before we found any flutter slimes. Holy heck, look at this area here, though. Look at that tree right there. It's like split down the middle. And I bet down there. Oh, yeah, that's that right there. That's what that is right there. That's that split tree right there. And then that way is where that hunter Gordo is. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, let's keep going on the edge here. Hopefully you come across any of those uh, flutter slimes. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. it is nighttime right now. I don't know. Are they only a daytime sort of critter? Because you guys said something about, I think, a couple episodes ago by now. Man, I'm getting a lot of rainy ore out here. But there's like a statue of a slime. Honey slimes? Yeah, it's honey slime. But it was like a statue like during the day, and then I guess at night it like turns to a regular slime, or like the other way around, something like that. So I wonder if it's the same thing for this flutter slime. Man, like I said, golly, another one right here, jeez. Grab that. At least if anything, we have some of that nectar stuff on us. What is that? Oh, another radiant one right there, cool. So we, we can grow that nectar tree at home, supposedly, right? Was oh, that another, yeah, another research drone right there, cool. Nothing else around here? I don't think so. Man, yeah, this... Oh, there's like an under area down there we need to explore, too. Yeah, I'm just kind of preemptively exploring around here to see if there's anything else before I get that drone. Yeah, I think that might be it. And then there's that under, under area down there. What in the world's happening over there? I don't know if there are any new slimes there. I guess we'll see here in just a bit once we get closer, but let's go back to that research drone and see what that has to say. And I'll probably have to end off this recording right here and end off this episode right here. And Maybe next episode we'd actually find those uh, flutter slimes and stuff. Here you go, research drone. Accessing the gg.log. I used to start my mornings with a jog along this path. It felt so great to feel the sea breeze as I make my way to the hollow trees ahead. Sometimes I would even come back at the end of my day and watch the sunset. But I also think this is where I got robbed by a ringtail slime. <laughs> I think that's what it was called, right? The one that was like stone or something like that during the night or stone during the day or something along those lines. Let's keep going this way though. See if there's anything new this way. Is there anything new? I have to wait. Hold on. Oh, I have, I have decent stamina. I don't need to worry about that. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We actually found the flutter slimes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they're. Seems like they are indeed active at. Oh, and these are the. Uh, yeah, ringtail slime. Fruit, vegetable, and meat. So they can eat anything? Huh. Interesting there. We found two new slimes this episode, you guys. Flutter and what was it? Ringtail or something like that? Yeah, ringtail. And supposedly it like. Is that a ring? Yeah, it's a ring tail float. I don't have inventory for it, though. Like, I kind of want to keep the nectar. I have the silky sand. and I need the angler. Oh, geez, there's a tar. I need the angler port for some sort of upgrade, I know. Oh, yeah, another. Yeah, you could definitely see those, like, moon dew nectar, like, 
plants like really easily like look at that and it's even on the side of the mountain wait how does this work how do you grow this then oh there, yeah there's one that actually fell right there cool yeah so if we see one in the sky oh flutter plor Ooh. oh yeah we need that we need two of them for some sort of a tunnel but i don't know where specifically and we got a little bit of money carrot and uh hen hen right there yeah i need to figure out how to get out of here oh jeez. well that's certain death down there i'm sure golly i'm not falling down that jeez. <laughs> But hold on, where where is? Yeah, I need to find that map updater thing. Where is that? Is this? Oh, oh geez, this is a bad. This is a bad place to be. And there's the. Yeah, at least it shows the Gordo even without the map updater thing. I, I haven't seen that at all. I don't know where it is. Hold on, can I make? Um, I don't know if I could. I'm like, I could try. Oh my gosh! Oh geez, how did I make that jump? That was insane. Is there a map updater around here? I don't know. Another uh, moon glow uh, nectar thing up here, though. Yeah, there's a flutter right there. Yeah, so it seems like the flutter do spawn maybe only during the night along t alongside the ring tail thing. Maybe. Oh, there's man, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I have seven of them. Golly. Yeah, so we could actually give these to that uh, Gordo and kind of get a head start on exploding them. Oh wow, there's a. Uh... Oh, there it is, right there. There's the map updater thing. There's like a slime statue with a thing. Oh, they came out of his eyes. What in the world? Oh, geez, that's another hole. I don't know if I want to jump down there. Let's go to the... Uh, <laughs> came out of those eyes, too. Let's, let's do the map updater thing. Here we go. Is that going to be... Oh, geez, that actually is the entire bottom bit. Wow. Man, that is cool. Look at this. Who would have thought that this beginning bit of Starlight Strand and then we, like, went there and then I went in a circle and then I thought I thought all of this was Starlight Strand, but no, that was just the beginning. Like, look at all this. And there's like two more Gordos we need to explode like golly. And there's still probably a ringtail Gordo around here too, I bet. Man. Well, we have eight on us right now. We, can, I think we need to give him 25 of his, his favorite food, right? Yeah, I guess we'll go feed him. All but one at least. And then we can grow some at home and then maybe bring a bunch of them. Whatever we have enough to hopefully explode this guy, right? There you are, stamina's back. All right, let's, let's go feed him seven of these. That'll be really good. And all we have to do is feed him 18 more supposedly, right? And there you go. So we still have one left on our inventory. Cool. Yeah, let's just head back, I'd say. At least we updated, we got the map updater thing for all of Starlight Strand, which is crazy. So now we can actually figure out how to get back home. So uh, let me just try and navigate back home real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back here at the conservatory. Man, one of the chickens escaped. How do you escape? I don't know, maybe you just spawned out in the open. Oh my gosh, there's so many. How are there so many chickens in here? These guys like not eating the chickens or are the chickens just breeding so fast? But the rock hunter Largos can't keep up with them. I don't know. Man, we've let it. There's so many in here. I need to. Jeez. I need to come up with like like another slime, another Largo that eats meat. I'm like, I could, yeah, I could feed some of the chickens to these guys. Yeah, nothing. Stop. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I will. Let's grab some of these guys and start feeding them over there. Jeez. Look at all this. All right. So let's just keep like two of each of everything. There you go. Let's see. Jeez. I had 20 sea hens in my inventory. Golly. Just feed them all these guys they are all hungry. We have like 11 or so largas in here, and thankfully they eat anything, so that's good. There we go. All right, cool. Yeah, let's get all the... Oh, jeez, this is actually full. It's at 100 out of 100. Jeez. All right, let's grab 100. Actually, I could only grab 30 at a time over here, right? Golly. There we go. Let's start grabbing all these and selling them and make room for even more plorts, right? God, man. And suction them up. It's back up to 86 there. 84 there, man. All right, well, I guess it's going to take a few trips for me to come over here and sell them all, right? Jeez. But I kind of want to get a tree started for the Moon Dew Nectar. Yeah, we could probably replace that uh, mint mango tree, that original mint mango tree. We could probably replace that with a Moon Glow Nectar thing, right? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we have mint mangoes already done. Let's go give those to our uh, honey slimes. Then I guess we can get rid of this actual tree. Right now, let's get rid of, yeah, move crop. Let's put... Does this even work here? Oh, wait, don't you? Wait, what? Is this something you can only get, like, out in the open or something? Hold on. Man, now I don't have a tree here. Or right, well, I guess, I'll, well, at least it goes inside of the silo. But I, I assume, I'm like, yeah, that answers like a lot of questions because we saw it like on the side of a rock tower and on, on top of trees and stuff like that. The moon glow nectar like plants and stuff. That, at least that kind of makes sense there. But it, why can't I grow them at home though? Let's just go over here, let's grab some of the, yeah, there's some of the mint mangoes over here done, which is really good. There you go. And eventually we're going to, oh wow, my inventory is actually full of mint mangoes. Holy heck. Do we lose any? Okay, yeah, we still have six honey slimes over here. Good. Let's give them all their favorite food. And let's get some of the extras and go put that up in their auto feeder thing. Wow, look at all those plorts right there ready to go. Let's put all their extra ones up over here and this should be good. Awesome. There you go, cool. 
Let's get up all their floors. 60 G's, 80 honey plorts over here. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to sell a bunch of uh, pink and cotton plorts and probably rock and hunter plorts here pretty soon too. Jeez. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode off here pretty soon. So I might as well just do the outro while I'm doing some of this busy work in the background, right? So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Slime Rancher 2 comes out so you don't miss it. Because now that we have that full map of Starlight Strand unlocked, we could actually go further explore that area and of course maybe explore that Gordo next episode. Although it's going to be a little bit harder because we can't grow any of those moon glow nectar things I get home so we we'll have to actually forage for all the moon glow nectar that we're going to be feeding that gordo and then I guess once we fully explore starlight strand we could move on to that uh, volcano area and fully explore that area too that'd be pretty fun right hopefully over there we could actually come across the puddle slimes and we'd finally get that upgrade for our backpack to hold water and whatnot right that'd be really good all right, man, I just sold a bunch of plorts right there. We're over 5,000 new bucks in the bank right now. I'm going to go deposit a few uh, rock plorts and hunter plorts over here, just in case we need them for crafting or anything like that. There we go. But I think I already did the outro right there, right? Uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe button, ring that bell, all that kind of jazz. You guys already know the deal by now. And remember, leave any Largo suggestions on what we should turn our honey slimes into, especially now that we know about the, what was it, flutter slime and the ringtail slime. Those are going to be really good suggestions too, so be sure to let me know in those comments down below. And then next episode, we're going to figure out what Largo these guys are going to turn into. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Slime Rancher 2 in Early Access. Oh, look at that smile. Oh, bye there. <laughs>